Yes, mate, how you doing? Welcome to Josh Drossage. Bring yourself here, sit yourself on my lap, because we are here to watch a madness of a movie literally called Mad Max Fury Road. Now, a lot of you voted for this, okay? There was like 4.3 thousand of you voted. It was between, um, I believe it was between uh, Dread, Signs, Starship Troopers, Mad Max Fury Road, and District 9. Mad Max won by 39%. Now, let me read out some of the comments, right? So someone said, yo, Ash, I voted for District 9 simply because the premise alone will blow your mind and to follow the path of man who goes through some very challenging issues that are equally mind-blowing. Just trust this comment. <laughs> that was a good one. I voted for Mad Max because I knew you'd love the action sequences. It's almost non-stop. The pacing is excellent. The soundtrack is always sick as hell. Listening to it while in a car is sure way to get speeding ticket. <laughs> Mad Max Fuel Road is 90 to 95% practical effects. And when you see the stunts and action pulled off in the movie, it's mind boggling knowing that it's almost all real stunts and effects. Uh, Kai here says, Mad Max Fuel Road is a wild ride and one of my favorite films of all time. I've seen the Mel Gibson ones, by the way, just to point out guys. Sonny B says, Mad Max Fury Road, the scale of this movie is awesome. Wish I had seen this first time in the cinema, but District 9 is beauty. The looks of Dread is really good too. Like, this is the sad thing as well. Like, I, you guys have seen this in the cinema. I haven't. So, your experience to this must have been nuts, right? Because I heard, like, even Interstellar watching that in the cinema must have been crazy good. Fury Road, the guitar guy alone is worth the price of admission. The guitar guy. Alexander Hillis says, Mad Max Fury Road is just pure post-apocalyptic chaos fueled by testosterone and good old car chase. Inject that shit in my veins. Guys, I cannot wait for this. This is gonna be a mad one. Appreciate the comments, appreciate the votes. Let's get into this. Yeah! Oh, what a day! What a lovely day! My name is Max. <laughs> My world is fire. Look at that voice already. You're in. My world is fire and blood, bitch. Let's go. We are killing for gasoline. The world is actually running out of water. Look at the art style already. Look at the. It's like I'm watching Doom right now, mixed with Metallica. Bro, this is weird already. Like, the film hasn't even started, and I'm in. Look at this car, man. Hello? Got that pimp my ride action going on. Got that jet fuel. Look at this. Whoa. Dave, uh, David Ambro would be confused with that. Two lizards, man. Listen to the sound effects, bro. Listen to the sound effects. People are just going at each other. Oh! <laughs> is that no CGI? Jesus, what a is man this film, reduced man? Reduced to a single instinct. This is beautiful. Survive. God, this, I feel like I'm in a concert right now. Watching like the intro of Metallica coming in. You just imagine people just like, Metallica. God. This movie, bro. Bro, what is this movie? I love that it's sped up. It's giving that like that chaotic, crazy, asylum, fucking madness vibe, you know? Where were you? Oh my god! Bro, what is. Boom! Boom! Let's go, man. Oh, fuck, no water. Oh, 
Bro! You promised to help us! Ah! What are we in Kong Skull Island, bro? What, where is this? Oh shit! <gasps> Boom! Oh! Kick him! Kick him, bro! Why are they white? Go! Best intro to a movie I've ever seen, ever. You know like how we have short attention spans, right? You give this movie to anyone with a short attention span, bro, they're in, no matter like if the movie's four or five hours long. I feel like I'm in a rock concert right now listening to this. These designs are amazing, man. Immortan Joe. Shouldn't have like a dictator name. Why is he called Joe? Oh man, I'd be fly kicking, elbowing people. There's a little kid in my front. Bash his head. Grandma, poke her eyes out. Take her fake teeth out. Hey! Ah! Oh. <coughs> I love the fact that I have no idea what is going on in this world. And I'm just like on the edge of my seat already, you know? Like mother's milk. Just legit, just... BBW's just sitting there, getting the titty sucked out. God, I want to just fucking strip right now and just, just rave. This is like, I feel like I'm part of a festival going into a concert and I need to be painted white. Oh, I love that. It's like their own swords, like... I'm driving. You're my Lancer. I just promoted myself. <laughs> Not today. Today is my day. Look at you. If you can't stand up, you can't do war. They're like a bunch of jokers, aren't they? All you gotta do is just put a green wig on them and they're jokers. Flamethrowers. Look at these cars, man. Are you mad? Fucking give me this movie, man. Look at this. Oh, this is pit my ride. God, look at this. <laughs> Fucking. Fuck. Can give me this. This movie, this movie. I have awakened in Valhalla! Oh my god! This is Jesus! Did he actually get tied, Tom Hardy? Did he actually get tied to the front? Boom! Oh, they've set traps. They've got that guerrilla tactic action going on. <laughs> what are they like? Spear grenades? I love the fact they're just riding on top of those cars. Like the health and safety in this movie must have been like they must have signed waivers. No CGI, bitch. We don't bring the C word in this. We don't bring the C word in this. We bring the P word, that practical effect action going on. Look at this, man. Dum, 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 dum,
George, George, George of the jungle, George, George, George of the jungle. Oh my god! If that hit his head, he's he's pointing it next to his head. What's he doing? What's he doing? Oh, he's coming, can't I see him still? Boom! Boom, boom, boom! Boom! What is this movie? Nothing like it. Nothing like it. Wait, let's me! That's an amazing way to go. Man was getting himself ready to die to go to Valhalla, man. Oh, he's got them Victoria Secret models in that, man. No wonder he has an army chasing him. Oh, we got a jigsaw in that car. What's going on? Jesus, is Tom Hardy in that front, in that car? He can't be. I don't know what to focus on right now. There's so many epic shit going on. Oh my god. That wasn't practical effects. That landing. This is amazing. Is it just it feels like they just printed this off a comic book into a movie. It is nuts how well this is done, man. Oh my god, they're trying to put a flamethrower in that car. This guy. You know how in the armies they had that guy that played the flute? Oh my god, they just turned this up. They said we're gonna have a Metallica band in front of our cars, bro. Hey, bye -bye to the neck. <laughs> he's getting he's being held by his neck. Has my mouth been closed at all? It's just wide open, like I'm mesmerized by this. You can't take your eyes off the screen at all. Like if my girlfriend was there and she wanted to ask me about, talk to me about her day, I'd be like, baby, stop. Can you just go in? Oh my God. She just pushed him in the sand tornado, bro. Wow, wow. Yeah, oh my God. Oh, what a day. What a lovely day. <laughs> if someone ever asked me, Ash, how's your day been? I'd be like, I'm having a wonderful day. What a wonderful day. Winner! I live, I die, I live again. Oh, shit. And breathe. Oh my god. That's easily the best chase scene I've ever seen as well. Easily. The best looking chase scene. The best unique chase scene. The best use of practical effects chase scene. The best music to a chase scene. <laughs> it's just amazing, amazing. I'm blown away. Oh, he's got a break. Ah. <laughs> he must be dreaming. He must be like, how can I go from one extreme to another? Am I dead? Is this Valhalla? Witness me. <laughs> This is why I don't want to die. We're not going back. They're all models as well. Put your gun down, bro. You should be celebrating. 
Oh, she's pregnant as well. Close the lid, hold it. Those waters are precious, man. Put your finger in it. Jesus. Oh my God. They sped this whole thing up, man. Like the editing is crazy. It's so chaotic. The way he just held the ammo out for him. Also, shooting that next to you here. What do I call you? Does it matter? Mad Max. Call me Mad Max. Everyone just talks like that. Ah, ah, ah. Everyone is just, you know, it's like they're constantly being tasered or need an itch. Oh, that's cool. It's like she's one with the, with her vehicle. That is so cool. She's putting that wall paint on her face. Oh, that was amazing. Did you see that catch? This is wonderful. This is wonderful. Fucking inject this shit in my veins. Oh my god, it's like a tank. Look, they're still playing the music. They should do a Mad Max musical. Oh my god, people would be jumping off their seats. Oh, they're jumping up and throwing grenades. Oh my god. That is so smart. The craftsmanship of these cars should win Oscars, man. Ooh, what is that? It's like an... Gun. How unique is this? BMX guys, man. The world champions. They probably pay them to do these things, man. There's no way this is CGI. There's people still riding on the back. Oh, wow. Oh my God, took the steering wheel. He's got his hand as well. <clears throat> the improvisation. Oh shit, oh shit. Oh my god! Tell him turn the rig around! I can't. Did you see it? She went under the wheels. <clears throat> Did you see it? She went under the wheels, yes! Oh, what a dumb question. Also, out of all those girls, why does she, why is the only pregnant one have to do all these things? Why can't they do it? <laughs> They're all just sitting there in the back seat complaining, do something. God, watching this movie, you lose calories. Do you know what I mean? Like you lose hearing because you just want to hear everything, but you also lose calories at the same time. So you coming out looking like a raisin after this movie. God, this is such a badass woman, man. She's doing her work underneath the car while it's moving with war paint on her face with no with one arm somehow they made a long ass car chase a journey so fascinating and beautiful to look at like you can't take your eyes off it the cinematography in this is just wallpaper quality like every scene like like this pause it like watch mad max right pause it at any scene right you could have that as your wallpaper like right now pause this scene wallpaper it's nuts 
Pause this scene, wallpaper. Another month. Oh my. Human. Wow. Oh, the way he just slammed it. Like he's some steak that he's about to season. This is horrible. Oh my God. The way he was... It's like he was playing with his food, man. If it, it, Listen, if I ever was to live in a world where people chanted mother's milk and said, witness me, bro, I'm out. There's no point. What, what is the point? Rest it on his shoulders. Rest it on his shoulders next to his ear. Don't breathe. What, bro, like cover your ears or something. Pain to these people are like nothing. Oi! I'm telling you, man, she's loving the fact that she fixed him. She was the one that fixed him. Wow. This, the colors, the color palette in this movie are just sexy. What do you suppose he's gonna do? Retaliate first. Oh, that's badass. He's got a steering wheel as well. Look at this shot, man. That is just unreal. It just looks like the beginning of a cinematic video game. Warren! That's a Warren! Play it, play it, play it. Play it, bitch. Play it, bitch. Da, 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 da. Oh, sake, man. Just keep playing the music. This is gonna be epic. How are you gonna take down every single one of them? And then you got to get to the Citadel. This is a suicide mission. Oh, it's like Nitro. This is making Fast and Furious look like Sesame Street, man. Look at this. This is what Fast and Furious wish it was, man. Oh my god, shot him straight. Oh! Oh, they got them. She's got that Winchester, oh my god. <laughs> watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out, what? God. The improvisation skills on these guys to come up with something while it's being shot at is amazing. Oh shit! Look at this! Is this... The camera work in this, bro! It is nuts! It's like they're like human kamikazes, man! Oh my god! Did she just get chainsawed? Man, 90 year old woman just smashing shit up, man. It's amazing. Oh my god, he's gonna chainsaw her. Boom! Oh my god! Oh! Oh! Oh, she's going to crush them in the middle. Oh. <laughs> Bro, just shoot this guy.
Look, there's a reason why I'm so immersed in this because there's no CGI and you know all these could happen, right? Because it's just all practical effects. It's such an immersive movie. Wow, wow. Even the explosions look better than any explosions I've seen in any other movie, man. It's literally a car journey going from destination to another destination and back. But they made it so beautiful, man. Not the guitarist. Oh. <laughs> Remember me. Oh, his face off. Oh, what a line. Not witness me, remember me. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Wow. It's just amazing. <laughs> oh my god. Honestly, the improvisation of these people, they have like, as much as it's post-apocalyptic, right? I feel like if you were in a post-apocalyptic world, you would just learn so many new skills to survive. The script in this movie must have had like maybe 3,000 words. That's it. Like these actors all together combined probably had 3,000 words. He's got something. Oh my God, tied the king to front of his car like he was. And that guy's going to be super easy to defeat. Wow. But surely they must find an easier way to give water to people. Because they're just wasting it by dropping it like that, no? Like maybe 100 people go up, get in the bucket, calm down, take it home to your kids. That's it. Wow. I witnessed this movie and I would remember it for a long time. From minute one, like from the way the titles was written out, the font, I was in. Tom Hardy's voice, I'm in. Two-headed lizard, I'm in. And then you get the best chase scene I've ever seen in my life. And the longest chase scene, the most beautifully shot chase scene. Like the action in it, like there was so many things going on, even if you wanted to look somewhere else, you you couldn't. It would just it, it wouldn't let you. Like it, it felt like it felt like someone was just trying to slap you from watching anything else. Like it's one of those movies that you cannot talk to anyone else. If you're the type of person who looks at your mate and you talk to them during a movie, you can't do it because you're like, I'm gonna miss something insane if I do, right? And I also love the fact they had these chaotic speed, like if it felt like the editor was like itching himself, right? It was like, it was just like, ah, you know? There was so much like chaotic editing that made, like just, you wanted to watch everything, right? And then I like the fact that he had a moment where you could just breathe and get to know the world. And then it continued again. And you're like, oh my God. Then he gets to the bit where they're like, we have to go back the same way we just came back and fight the same guys. 
because there's no hope, so we just have to take our city back. And you're like, oh my God, we're gonna see this again? <laughs> like you already lost all your energy, right? This movie is an experience and I'm ashamed that I didn't watch this in the cinema because what a movie, like the sound effects, the cinematography, I mean, you don't even need to talk about the acting. The acting was okay, you know, nothing special, but the people that need getting praise aren't the actors. Get rid of the actors. I couldn't care less about the acting in this movie. Get rid of them. The people who should be praised, you should go on IMDb and find out the practical effects, the visual effects, the people who created the set designers, you know, like every single one of them did. A, actually, let's do them. Let's do him a, um, let's pay him an honor on this channel, right? Because I don't think anyone else is, right? First of all, George Miller, you're amazing, amazing. Okay, here we go, right? Cine cinematography, guys, cinematography, this person, anytime you see this person, watch it. John Seal, you're amazing, mate. Ma the film editor, Margaret Sixel. Legit, if you ever need, you know, extra cash and you want to edit videos, you can edit mine as well. Um, product, production design, Colin Gibson, legend. Set decoration, there we go. This is art direction. Mark Antonin, Richard Hobbs, Shira Hockman, Jacin Tarleonog, Jani Van Stannen. Listen, I don't even care, I'm, I'm butchering your name, but just, you're getting praise, you know. Nikki Gardiner, Katie Sharrock, Lisa Thompson, Jenna Vasquez, you guys are like revolutionary. You are beyond your years. You are amazing. Appreciate you, um, honestly. And then the makeup de department is just crazy, right? Um, I can't list all of them, but visual effects guys. Oh, and Junkie XL, the music. What a movie, guys. Thank you so much for reacting this with me. I am exhausted. Like, it's a tiring movie to watch as well because you're just, your eyes are just constantly glued. But yeah, man, appreciate it. Watch the full reaction on Patreon. Share the shout of this reaction. I love you. Take care.